division within the government rank as far as those for and against. And similar thing that Dr. Aku um, pointed out in his discussion, that the Prime Minister is firm on going forward head on for peace to return in the restive region. And same vision, same idea, idea shared by Ndoum here, that the Prime Minister was in Bamenda preaching, pre preaching peace, and uh, RFA and Anglophone Minister was somewhere saying that there will not be dialogue. Now, where is this division coming from? Uh, okay, yeah, James, I've, I've listened. It seems, yeah, uh, from what Dr. Ako is saying, and even from some of, uh, on social media, from what I've seen, it seems as if there is uh, some sort of a division between uh, uh, maybe the president, the president is working with the prime minister, and uh, uh, the minister of communication, the minister of uh, territorial administration, and the secretary at the presidency, they are working on a different camp. I'm not quite sure. This is a speculation. But it seems as if there is there is a, a, a section of the government that is working with the Canadian government. And there is another section of the government that doesn't want to work with the Canadian government or th doesn't want this peace process to, to move ahead. So it is clear that the division is coming from within the government. If there is a division, it is coming from within the government. And it seems as... Because indeed, uh, Dr. Aku talked about it. The prime minister is the head of the government. And so if you are saying, you, you, if the Canadian government is saying, uh, for example, uh, we've had uh, both parties, we, we've had the, the Cameroon government, we've talked with them, it therefore implies perhaps they maybe talk with the prime minister's office or maybe the minister of external relations. They have been speaking with the Cameroon government. Then. All of a sudden, we have a, 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 a communique from the Minister of Communication saying we have an interest. So this 48 is hours. Canada. That was 48 hours after it was released and the communique came late at night. Indeed, there is, yeah, there is that. So, in fact, what, what has been happening? I mean, we've had uh, the uh, uh, Baris Agbo. So many people have come out and said, let us be uh, calm, That let us be hopeful. And indeed, uh, there's been an an uh, analysis that said, well, perhaps this is not quite an uncommon uh, thing. This is something that is relatively common. There, there have been cases where uh, belligerents have got into uh, uh, an agreement, and a couple of hours, uh, 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 maybe an hour, a few hours after that, one party uh, withdraws their signature or whatever. So this is not quite uncommon. But in the case of Cameroon, it might be disturbing because there's been this pattern uh, in the past. But I just want to say an example of this would be, for example, the case, the, 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 Q, the Cuban Missile Crisis, if, you, if some of you can remember. Yes, uh, between uh, 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 Kennedy had to yes, sign and Fidel Castro. Uh, an agreement with Nikita Khrushchev of the Soviet Union. That agreement was supposed to be private. And J.F. Kennedy mentioned to him that if that agreement was made public, he was going to refuse that he didn't sign anything. <laughs> it was for a missile in Turkey to be removed uh, from Turkey. Why? The Soviet Union was supposed to remove a missile in Cuba. So that is just an example of maybe a party not wanting an agreement to go public. But if this were the case, if this were the case in Cameroon, perhaps the Cameroon government would have told the Canadian government that do not publish this in public. Don't tell the public that we are working with you. Then that would have been clear. But it seems as if they didn't say that. So the Canadian government went ahead and, and made it public. And to come back and say, oh, no, we, are not, we didn't entrust the Canadian government, it seems as if there is a, a, a division in, within the government. And this is, this is quite disturbing because you see the United Nations, the, the US, the United States, the UK, the Vatican, uh, uh, so many civil societies, they have all endorsed this, this process, they have endorsed this peace process. And to, to, to see that the, the government is working back on it is very disturbing. Uh, a couple of, a couple of uh, months ago, uh, I joined the, 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 the CDN, the Coalition for, uh, uh, for Dialogue. We've, the CDN has been uh, working, trying to provide a platform, a neutral platform. The CDN is very, it's a neutral uh, organization. Uh, we are not um, in any way partisan. So we've been trying to provide a very a neutral platform for the, uh, uh, the, the, all the factions to sort of coalesce together and put a, a, a front that they could discuss with the Cameroon government. And so uh, uh, this, is, this is what the CDN has been doing. But today I'm just, I'm just speaking from the civil society 
I have not been uh, interrogated by the CDN to talk. About. So this is this is uh, the case from the, the Cameroon side. And just to say that the, the the balance sheet of this this conflict has been very disturbing. I think you, you mentioned part of it in terms of the statistics. More than six thousand people have died. Uh, more than one million people have been displaced. Uh, and some of the statistics that we have at the CDN are very disturbing because uh, the, we've been working the, the the United the United Nations Office for Humanitarian Affairs for the coordination of humanitarian affairs. They've been tracking almost everything down. So you know, some people go ahead and commit this some of these crimes and everything. All of these things are being recorded. Okay. Very very detailed. And if, if not all indeed, but most of them, they have been recorded. Okay. So the situation on the ground. We'll be coming back to you. Disturbing. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be coming so, back. We'll be coming back to so, you, Anya. We'll be coming back.